OssiRender is a free open source synthesizer focusing on live oscilloscope music and visuals, as well as creating samples to use in a digital audio workstation. This video covers all the new features in the latest version, as well as a recap on the existing features and a look at what will be coming in the future. OssiRender supports three main file types for visualization. .obj object files, .svg vector images, and text files. I've also recently integrated OssiRender with Blender, allowing Blender scenes to be visualized on the oscilloscope. Object files now support hiding any edges that should be hidden or occluded by faces of the object's mesh. This can be enabled under View and then Hide Hidden Meshes, and works best on more complex objects. Please know that for very complex objects this becomes very computationally expensive and will run on the GPU if possible. Added recently is a browser-based software oscilloscope that can be used to visualize OssiRender's output without a real oscilloscope. Simply navigate to Window and then Open Software Oscilloscope and you'll see something close to what you'll see on a real oscilloscope. I'll keep this open for the rest of the video so that you can see the difference. You can now save and load projects in OssiRender to save all of the currently open files, slider values and sliders that are mapped to MIDI CC channels. You can open projects, save the current project and save a new project from the file menu or using the respective keyboard shortcuts. The output from any files or from Blender can be controlled by the various sliders and effects available. Some effects are only enabled for specific types of file, like the 3D object file settings, but all other sliders can be used for any image being displayed. I'll quickly cover each effect available currently. Vector cancelling occasionally negates or flips the current audio sample being played so that it's mirrored around the centre of the display. This has the effect of cancelling out the audio at certain points, making the image visible but audio mostly silent. Bitcrush applies a pixelation effect to the image, reducing the resolution. Vertical and horizontal shifts change the width and height of the lines. Wobble plays a sine wave at a similar frequency to the current audio, which makes the image wobble. Smoothing takes an average over a portion of the last audio samples, which reduces the sharpness of corners, whilst making the audio less abrasive. And finally, the trace effects change the portion of the image that is currently being drawn. The difference between min and max is the point at which the trace begins and ends. You can combine multiple effects using the checkboxes, and also animate them by using the drop down on the right hand side, which cycles through the min and max values of the sliders. The min and max values can also be changed in the sliders menu, allowing you to choose any slider and set the range of values. The effects will then animate over this new range. Finally, most sliders can be influenced by noise coming from your microphone. If OssiRender detects a microphone plugged in when it launches, you can check the microphone checkboxes and have the sliders move based on the volume of the microphone. The sensitivity of this can be controlled with the mic volume slider. Multiple files from a folder can be opened at once, and you can cycle through them manually or automatically. These will all be saved when you save a project, allowing projects to be shared with others without needing the original files used to create them. MIDI can be used to control various aspects of OssiRender, including choosing which file is currently being rendered, the slider values and the frequency of audio generated. By clicking any of the MIDI buttons next to the sliders, you can map a MIDI CC channel to the slider when you next move the channel of your choosing. This mapping will be saved when you save a project. By using a virtual MIDI device, like LoopB internal MIDI on Windows, or by outputting MIDI from a digital audio workstation or real MIDI device, you can control the frequency of OssiRender and the notes that are played. 
Most basic MIDI features are supported, like playing notes and pitch bending, allowing you to easily use Ossirender as a live MIDI synthesizer. Since many notes can be played at once using MIDI, you can choose the main MIDI channel that will be used to provide the frequency of the rendered image. The volume of other MIDI channels or the main MIDI channel can be controlled using the image visibility slider. The next major feature I'm planning to implement is support for pure data audio patches, allowing you to configure your own audio effects using Aussie Render's output as an input into the pure data patch, and also supporting pure data patches as an extra supported file type. I'm always looking for more feature requests, so please make a comment or make a GitHub issue if you have any ideas, requests, or issues. Thanks so much for watching.